her. Or do something with your hair. Now do me, give me some styles. Flip it all the way over. No, other side, that's not your side. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hey guys, so for this quick video, I just wanted to just kind of go back and touch on these nomadic twists. So here I did my sister's hair and I did the braid pattern a little different so that she could wear it up. Ain't that cute, y'all? So yeah, um, I am not going to really be getting into just how I installed them because I will link the video that I did down below. I want to get into just kind of what I experienced with these twists because they are still my favorite twist and just show you guys how I did her braid pattern so yeah so I purposely did not do her braid super straight um, how it looks I kind of did it yeah I pretty much did it on purpose um, and the reason for that is because I was just trying to figure out what I want to do you guys I didn't know if I wanted to do what I saw um, beauty can braid do was like the zigzags or what so it just was like a combination of everything um and then the back you see that i did her hair in five different sections and just braided it on up and then next i'm gonna go ahead and crochet it all down like i'm doing right here so that it's nice and flat and then from there you can go ahead and um, start adding in your crochet um, braid so your nomadic twist or whatever you're doing this will work for many different um, braids or crochets that you have where you just want to pull your hair up so this is the nomadic twist you guys and to get into this hair this hair is still one of my favorite if not my most favorite crochet style that I've ever done because of the simplicity of it and also um you just get it's the versatility that i really love the hair is also super soft and i don't know i just like the whole style the whole style was just it was just my jam so so let's get into it so number one i just like installing it on someone else i just really realized how small these little openings were to crochet it in that really slowed me down y'all it just like i was just like oh my god this these little openings couldn't be any bigger than this but i get why they're small i i, I it works and it works for the braid and you don't want to have too big of an opening so i understand but it did slow me down with doing my hair and doing my sister's hair but it only took me an hour to install um, all all six packs of this hair going into the six packs I will say that's not enough I'm gonna go ahead and say um, go ahead and and order seven packs of this hair I think it would be much better and my sister does have a smaller head than I do and I still needed I still could have used one extra pack so that's how it's looking when if she were to pull it up and this is how it looks after two packs of hair you see the fullness of it and yeah I just I really like that and I wish I had done it on myself so I wanted to come back and show you guys how um I did it on her also, these braids do stick to one another. Um, it didn't really bother me too much. It's just what I noticed. And yeah, it's nothing to like get super alarmed about. But over time, I do see it being an issue because if they are constantly sticking to one another, you are inevitably going to get some type of fraying going on. And that's what I have heard. That's what I've had a few of you guys tell me. My sister tells me, um, sorry, told me. And that's what I noticed with myself as well and I don't know I just I just kind of feel like maybe it's the hair maybe they could use a different type of hair I don't know all the ins and out that goes into making a type of braid you guys I don't really know but I do know that I love this style I love this braid and for it to frizz not necessarily frizz but fray kind of easily because the hair is sticking to one another I feel like maybe that could be an issue that can be fixed so yeah um with that like I said does come the frame and then comes the bushiness of the hair it's not bad I didn't really experience anything super severe I don't know if anyone else did and from what I heard um I think after maybe two or three weeks people started to notice that the hair was kind of like the maybe the braids were getting a little bit more bushy or or frizzy or something something along those lines. And I could see that happening. Like I said, if they're already sticking to one another, it's just the frizziness is just bound to happen. So 
so yeah you guys that is pretty much it for this video still my most favorite style still love this hair just hoping that these issues can get fixed if you guys have any questions or comments please let me know down below i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful and thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you in my next video bye